Welcome to the access levels for the X30 and X35 presentation. One of the built-in features for the X30, X35 is called access levels. It can be used to simplify the operations screens and also the settings page for customers that want to only see what they are using or if they have operators that are not as comfortable with the monitor to make it as simple as possible to operate. Three distinct levels can be set up and used in the access levels, so different levels of operators can be accommodated with ease. The following shows how to set up the access levels and also included is a recommended settings for the access levels. In order to set up the access levels users controls for your operators, you will need to go into the settings menu. We will be following the mouse as you can see in the bottom left corner of the screen around while we do this presentation. To get to the settings menu, you can touch on the wrench in the bottom left corner of the screen. Once in the settings screen, we will need to touch on user and then access level in the second tier to access the access levels. The access level will be set on expert on initial setup, which will allow you to adjust the settings for all the user settings. After setting to expert, we can then go into the user controls. You can then start to adjust the settings to allow your operator access to what they need to operate the machine. Depending on the operator's comfort level, or multiple operators, you can have two levels of user control set up as easy and standard. One for easy, one for standard. You can preview your changes touching on the preview tab. It's preview tabs right under each one. It will set up the settings menu and the operator's screens to reflect the changes. In the settings, I've gone ahead under easy and I've turned off the products. So you'll be able to see when I touch the preview button that the products disappears. So it's easy to preview and see what you've changed. Also from here, if we go back to our main screen, I've also disabled some of the mini view icons from the side panel on the left side. So if I go back into my settings, stop the preview and then go back to my main screen you'll now see that all those icons are back so it's very easy to see what we've changed by using the preview button in the user controls there's many many options that you can customize use the little slide tab on the side and you can go through all the different options you need there are many icons that you will never use. There's a lot of steering or the Topcon steering systems if you are equipped with a Topcon steering and antenna, which you most likely are not, that you can turn off so they're not on the screen confusing you. And you can go through the whole list and see what they all are. When we get to the end of this preview, then we'll, we will be going through what each one is and you can decide whether you want it or not. Once we have our user controls set up, then we can go back to access levels and to select your different operator ranges, you select this access level button at the top. You get easy, standard, and expert that match up for what we set up in user controls. You can also set up a password to keep from this being switched when you're not there. It is, however, recommended not to use a password if you don't need to because if you do forget your password it will lock you out and you have to reload the software into your monitor and you'll lose all your settings in order to be able to reset this password. If at any time while you're making your set changes to your user controls you want to go back and start over just go to user controls you can go over here to reset and you have two options. You have reset the factory settings 
which will revert the monitor back to the way it was when the last time the software was upgraded. Or you can also have it revert all changes since power up, since the monitor was turned on, so it'll go back to before you started to do your changes. Select the one that you want, or hit the X to back out of this step. The following pages are our recommendations for setting up the access levels. If you prefer to use alternative settings for your operation, you can refer to the short description following each line item. These are the first 20 of the descriptions in the user settings. So you can see we have for easy standard and expert our recommended settings. You will notice that under easy we have a large number of them maxed out to make it as basic as possible for the operator. Standard gives you a few more features and Expert gives you most features. Under Expert, the ones that have X's are ones that do not apply to the X30, X35 with a 7000 series cart. On this page you'll notice that almost everything on all three levels are X'd out. We are not using any of this task data that the monitor can create or any of the data exchanges except for the save job which you'll see here and we're leaving the data exchange so that this is open as well. Everything else is X'd out in our recommendations. All the settings from 63 to 82 listed on this page are all settings to do if you're using Topcon steering. So if you're using Topcon steering you would have a Topcon antenna and a Topcon steering module that would be controlling the steering on your tractor. If you're not using any of those, you would cross them all off and then they will not be affecting what you're seeing. On this page, 83 to 90 are all to do with Topcon steering as well. Once we get to 91 and 92, those are for setup. That's our settings menu in the X30, X35. After that, it's various forms of the setup that you can set up for your operator's comfort level. And if they're just operating the machine, they can all be X'd out as they're not going to be part of what they need through our recommendations. Items 103 to 114 round out the rest of the settings you will find under the user controls with our recommendations for each one. Now that we have our user settings set up, we will do a quick demonstration of what the recommended settings would look like. So first, with no previews on, we'll go back to the main run screen. And you'll notice you have all your icons. If you go into the field button, You've got all the icons, go to your job button, all the icons, and you have the top one steering buttons as well. You also have all your mini views down the left hand side. We'll go into the settings, and if you go through the settings you'll notice that you have everything is still there. When we turn on the preview for the easy, the preview starts. We go back to the main run page. You will notice that you have less icons on your right hand side so we have the ability to go into the guidance screen. We have the ability to see what our GPS positioning is. We have the ASC so we can turn that on and off. We can also switch our boundary limit and do our boom controls. and we have our cedar controller. We've eliminated the inventory manager 
and on the guidance screen you've eliminated any of the top con buttons that are for steering down here if you go into the field button you're only going to have the options to select the job or select a field start a new field drop flag points erase coverage and create a boundary from coverage if we touch on the job button we're going to be able to select from jobs loaded add a new job add a VR prescription and transfer to a USB drive the quick start icon is still available in the top right corner if we go to the seating screen so we'll open that to the main view you'll notice that you still have everything you need to do your seating job we haven't turned any of that off now we go back into our settings screen hit the wrench and you'll notice that we've turned off some of the icons here so that things aren't being adjusted accidentally if we go into the system button we've eliminated a lot of the different features under system you still have the ability to use the extend on an X35 and to do remote support under system if you hit implement we've taken away all the different options so it's very simple very easy to use to go back to turn the preview off we just go to user user controls and stop preview which will bring back all of our icons again you can also do a preview for standard and see what we've turned off there as well and if you wish to turn these on we just simply go to access level touch on this access level at the top and if we set it to easy we then have only the features enabled for what we just viewed in that uh, preview thank you for watching the access levels presentation we feel strongly that if the time is taken to set this up properly using our recommendations and adjusting to your personal preferences you will improve the performance and customer satisfaction level for the machine that you're operating. Thank you.